after reading all those and agreeing what seems to be 90 95 percent i gotta say maybe maybe i am sysbm what's going on youtube it's your boy ron back with another video before we get started would you please like comment subscribe all that good jazz on the road to 2,000 subs, baby, let's get it. All right, so if you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, oh, I appreciate the love and support. Now, let's go ahead and jump into it. So, um, you know, a lot of um, my new subscribers, they've been... Um, seems that a lot of my new subscribers seem to come from this um, SYSBM. Um, for y'all that don't know, it means Save Yourself Black Man. And I seem to have stumbled into this space. Um, it, it's been all love, and you know I, I appreciate you guys. I really do. Um, it's, it's it's just crazy. I, I it, it's just crazy to think how naive I am when it comes to this. Like I had no idea that this was like a movement, and this is a movement that's been going on for a while. So everybody told me to. Um, look up mad bus driver x and i did a little digging and i remember um courtney michelle saying that um you guys had tenants like you literally had points and she said she couldn't negate any of them so i figured all right well maybe this will help me get a better understanding of exactly what sysbm is um and you know maybe you know you guys that are watching um y'all can let me know in the comments um, hell, y'all can let me know in the comments whether y'all think I'm SYSBM or whatever the case may be. You know, it, it's all up in the air because I'm, you know, I'm I'm just learning. You know what I mean? And trying to open everybody else's eyes so they can see what's really going on. All right. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right. So the first one is tenant number one, SYSBM, Save Yourself Black Man. The movement, philosophy, and lifestyle is not about saving the black community. I can't really say I agree or disagree with that as far as, you know, saving the black community. Um, I believe in going where you're wanted because I understand that in the black community, black women tend to only be aroused or attracted to a particular type of black man yep. and those black men typically aren't good long term but nope. women still try to force trying to force the issue with these men anyway only to turn around and blame all the other men that they don't even care to even give the time of day and lump them in with us and say that all black men ain't ish so i do have a problem with that so that's where that's my stance on that so it's, i'm i'm all about going where you want it all right let's keep it moving all right tenant number two sysbm is all about expanding upon one's dating marrying procreation options with the high quality women like i just said i, I agree with that one thousand percent my especially the, the way the dating market is nowadays the way modern women are with the mindset that they have in the west it's all about expanding your options. I, I see why this passport bros and why it's starting to be, it's starting to become a, a big movement in itself. And I, I agree 100% with this with this second tenant. Let's keep it moving. All right, tenant three, SYSBM encourages the black man to travel the world and to experience new peoples and new cultures. And I agree with that as well. Um, until I've, I've fallen in love with the Latin culture. So I'm definitely looking looking forward to going to Colombia next year. That's the plan. Um, that is a uh, short-term goal. Um, I do want to go to Thailand as well, just to just, just just to get just to get that vibe. You know what I mean? Um, and I agree with this 1,000% as well. Let's keep it moving. All right, tenant number four, SYSBM is all about honesty and self-improvement. This is yet another reason why the SYSBM Brotherhood rejects 
scraggle daggle type <laughs> type females and recognizes that we cannot mesh together with such women. Scraggle daggles though, I'm weak as French toast. I'm mad, bro. Oh my god, y'all silly for that. But I, I see what y'all mean when y'all say scraggle daggle. I, I I get it. I get it. You know what I mean? Um, kind of like Fresh and Fit saying like we we don't we don't deal with the quiches. But once again, I, I agree with this, man. I, I, I preach self improvement on this channel. I mean, when I very first started this channel, half of my videos were workout videos. So, yeah, you know I mean, I mean, in the future, I might break off and do a workout channel. I mean, if y'all really want that, you know, feel free to let me know in the comments. But, yeah, you know I mean, yeah, I agree with this 100%. You know what I'm saying? Um, self improvement. And definitely on the honesty tip. Yeah, you know I mean, as you notice, I am extremely transparent on this channel, and I do that, and I do that for a reason, so that way the haters can't try to come at me the same way the haters were trying to come at Kevin Samuels. Yeah, you know I mean, so I do my best to be transparent, so that way I don't gotta worry about haters trying to expose anything, because it's like you can't expose anything because I'm I'm exposing everything myself. Let's keep it moving. Tenant number five, SYSBM, staunchly rejects toxic feminism. Psh, man, that, that's a given, man. I'm like, that that should be a rule for every man, period. <laughs> Let's keep it moving. Tenant six, SYSBM is all about structure, family building, and leaving a legacy behind. Man, that, for me personally, that's, that's the dream. For me personally, that is the dream. That is the dream. But once again, I, I agree with this a thousand percent. Let's keep it moving. All right, Tenant seven, SYSBM, unlike the black community, which is black women only, we prioritize and put the heterosexual free thinking black man first as it recognizes his importance as a free thinker, a leader, and a builder. I I can't disagree with this either. I really can. You know what I mean? I mean it's important for men to be that way if they want to be leaders. Let's keep it moving. All right, tenant number eight, SYSBM is all about the increase of one's finances and assets as well as the reduction of one's debt. Wow, I mean, once again, valid point. That that falls under the self-improvement part. You know what I mean? Got to get your finances together, especially before you start traveling, man. That's why I'm, I am in no rush. I'm taking my sweet time because once I start getting into it and doing it for real, like I want to be in a position to where if I do got to come back to the States, it's only for a short amount of time before I leave again. Let's keep it moving. Tenant 9, SYSBM is all about the improvement of one's mental, physical, and spiritual health. Oh my God. I cannot stress how much important this is because let me tell you something. If it's one thing I've noticed about these modern women is that they don't give a damn about a man's mental health. And what's the one thing we value most, fellas? Peace of mind. That's why you see so many guys overseas enjoying themselves because they have peace of mind in these other countries I say all the time I've been saying this a lot lately on my channel it's a shame that these other countries are worse off economically than the US but those countries are much happier than the country we're in make that make sense bro I'm telling you so I agree with tenant 9 as well let's keep it moving tenant 10 SYSBM encourages connections with other black men who hold to a similar mindset SYSBM unlike the black community is not a hive minded ph philosophy it is a must for you to retain your individual mindset as well as your own purpose um hey I gotta admit man I'm really loving these tenants bro I'm I'm, I'm, I'm really loving what I'm reading bro because I, I agree with everything like I wholeheartedly I really do you know what I mean? And one of the things that I've enjoyed about being in this space is the connections that I that I've had with people in the comments. Uh, shout out to the to the homie Antonio Brown. Like, yeah, you know I mean, me and him have connected on Facebook. Yeah, you know I mean, we be um we like we we be roasting females on Facebook. It, it's it's hilarious, you know. But at the same time, you know, everybody has 
their own individual mindset as well. That's one thing I've noticed. And even the guys that are, you know, that that are sharing, you know, you know, we're we're sharing a similar mindset as far as the SYSBM. I have noticed, you know, guys going back and forth and not necessarily challenging each other's um, way of thinking, but, you know, just kind of conversing and going back and forth and I just love the engagement that I see in the comments, guys. I really do, man. So, yes, 10 of 10, I agree with that 100% as well. Let's keep it moving. All right, 10 of 11. SYSBM, unlike the black community, holds all people to account for their wrongdoings. We will apply blame and culpability wherever it is due. We do not excuse black people for their transgressions, nor do we continually blame the white man for anything and everything wrong in black society. We do not condone nor accept reprobate and degenerate degenerate behavior from any group. This includes black women. You know what? I mean, I can't really disagree with this one either. I mean, I was just having a conversation with my best friend on the phone who uh, had moved to New Orleans. And, you know, me and him was kind of going back and forth, you know, about racism and everything. And don't get me wrong, you know, there's always going to be racism against black men, you know, black people in general coming from white people. But at the end of the day, we there's we as a people have enough freedom to go about making a way for ourselves as doesn't involve the white man holding us back and there are plenty of black men doing well for themselves there are plenty of black men traveling the world as you see in this space living a best life so and like i just said in the previous video that i was just showing y'all about who is your morpheus you know what i mean donovan sharp put it best he got offended by homeless by homeless men asking him for money because in his mind it's like yeah in this country, there's no excuse for you to be broke, period. You know what I mean? And I, and, I, and I like the idea of holding everybody accountable regardless. And holding everybody else accountable regardless of race, gender, whatever the case may be. So yeah, 10 and 11, I, I gotta agree with that too, man. Let's keep it moving. In 12, we SYSBM Knights are not the property of black people. We are not beholden to black community, nor do we feel of obligated to protect and defend the community of black females. See, this one is a tough one, but at the same time, I have to kind of agree with it because there was recently um, a black man that um, got killed trying to defend a girl. And it's starting... I'm starting to see it happen a little bit more often, which is kind of scary when you consider how much black women are complaining about not being protected. But when you got these black men that are getting killed for protecting their women, you don't hear any of these women talking about it. I find that very, very strange because this has happened a lot more often recently than I would like to say. But women don't ever talk about it. Interesting. But I agree with this too, man. Just off of the strength of that. Let's keep it moving. 13. SYSBM members are not dick police officers. <laughs> we do not attempt to bully and intimidate black men into dating black or non-black women. All right. I I'm with that too, bro. Seriously, bro. Like I said, go where you are wanted. I don't care if it's an Indian chick, Asian chick, white chick, Hispanic chick. African chick, go where you are wanted, bro. Go where you are wanted, brothers. I'm telling you. I love, I, I love that. I love that one. Let's keep it moving. SYSBM does not obligate black men to swear allegiance to the lifestyle. There is nowhere you have to sign your name in blood. Free thinking black men are free to take the SYSBM philosophy and tailor it to their personal needs according to their own lives. Respect. 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 It's cool. I'm like, because at this point, so far from what I'm reading, I'm like, I'm definitely going to do that. And I agree with that as well. Let's keep it moving. All right, 15. SYSBM members have nothing to do with the black community as a whole and have no problems declaring and standing by such a position. It was the so-called community that, in most cases, ousted free thinking brothers from its ranks to begin with. We accepted its decision and subsequently moved on. Hey, um, mmm. Oh, 
I'm not going to say I agree with this one, but I won't say I can disagree with this one either because this is a valid point. I'm going to just... I'm going to just stay off of this one, but I, I can't really say I disagree with it either because it's valid. It's valid. I'm just, hmm. all right, let's keep it moving. 16, that's why SBM practitioners are not cleanup men. We refuse to accept the current decadent and degenerate single mother philosophy being pushed by the black community. We will not be returning to the so-called community to clean up anybody's mess i.e. date and wife up ghetto mothers oh my god oh man shots fired but i agree one million percent man i can't keep count of the number of videos that i've done on why you shouldn't date single mothers bro don't do it please don't do it let's keep it moving all right 17 that's why sbm is all about looking out for children in the future this is one of the core reasons why we choose not to have children with ghetto women scraggle dad <laughs> oh man i figured scraggle daggle mean ghetto women i'm weak though scraggle daggle though i'm mad bro <laughs> Uh, i.e. ghetto women as a collective hold a deep disdain and hatred for black children form black men and thus will not hesitate to destroy such offspring can't disagree with this one either it's tough man these are a lot of very valid points man I'm starting to see why Courtney Michelle, Courtney Michelle feels the way she feel about, about SYSBM because you can't really dispute any of this let's keep it moving 10 and 18, SYSBM does not put black or non-black women on a pedestal. Shouldn't put women on a pedestal, period, man. That's that that's actually more of a RP point than anything on that one. So yeah, that, that's a given. Let's keep it moving. 19. SYSBM brothers do not deal with non-black women who have ghetto females as friends. Ooh, interesting. Because hanging around hood women is guaranteed to leave them contaminated and thus no different to the dysfunctional ghetto females we walked away from to begin with. Very valid point. That's the reason why you hear so many guys in this space saying don't bring women back to the states you know what i mean you bring them back here they're gonna get westernized americanized whichever whichever term you want to use so i agree with this one a thousand percent as well 20 the sysbm brotherhood will not be negotiating or horse trading with any scraggle daggle women on any level <laughs> at any time <laughs> Ooh, y'all killing me with the scraggle daggles though. I'm weak, bro. Oh, okay, so that was it. Okay, cause I thought I thought I thought it was twenty, but man, after reading all those and agreeing what seems to be ninety ninety five percent, I gotta say maybe maybe I am SYSBM. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments about this. All right. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that like button so I can reach a broader audience. And hit the notification bell so that way y'all know what I'm uploading. And until the next video, y'all. Deuces.